Hey guys, Poverty Point Customs here. What we're gonna do today is install uh, my new Max Hall trailer jack onto my uh, new five by 10 Sterling utility trailer. As you can see on the front, there isn't one, so we're gonna install it probably on the left side. So this was purchased off Amazon Canada. I believe it was around $80 plus 15% uh, uh, sales tax. The reason I went with this model, it's a 1500 pound and it's the dual wheels and it actually swings back when it's uh, not in use. I wanted the heavier uh, duty uh, trailer jack. I know a lot of people were having issues with the lighter duty, the 500 and 1000 pound uh, jacks where the uh, jacking mechanism inside was stripping. So I figured I better go heavier duty and that way I only have to put it on one time. I mentioned this is gonna be a two part video. First part is going to be installing the new trailer jack. The uh, second video is actually going to be uh, doing an overview uh, review on the uh, trailer itself, kind of explaining some of the features and uh, capacities and whatnot. So make sure you like and subscribe to uh, stay tuned for that. What's inside? So here's it all in box. So what you have is your actual jack, your dual uh, six inch caster wheels. You have four nuts and bolts. This is to actually mount the uh, jack to your trailer. These are your mounting brackets. This is your handle for right here and your nut for the other side. And the first step is we're gonna install the caster wheel. So it's just a matter of taking out this uh, nut and bolt, installing those. Now I should say before I reinstall it with the wheels on, I'm actually gonna put a little bit of white lithium grease on the inside here. That way over time, instead of just being metal on metal, it's gonna have a little bit of grease in there to uh, help protect from uh, future rust. So we're going to install the handle next. As you can see, you got to put a wrench here and we're going to use a socket to put the uh, nut on. And again, I put a little bit of grease on the inside of here. So we're ready to install the jack, but before you install the jack, pick what side you want it to be installed on either side is fine but you also want to put down your front tailgate because you don't want the jack to interfere with it when it's down so that's going to help us determine where this is actually going to be mounted at because uh, a bit of the jack is actually going to be stuck up when it is in its uh, upright position Before I mount the uh, jack, I actually put a little bit of white lithium grease on the back part of the uh, mounting bracket as well as on the uh, brackets that go on the other side of the frame. Just helps in the long run for rust. So what I'm going to do next is actually mount the uh, jack onto the frame. We're going to loosely mount it, that way I can move it front or back. That way we can determine the best location. I don't want to go too ba far back where it's actually going to be hitting the uh, front tailgate area or the extension. But I also don't want to have it too far forward or the uh, jack's going to kind of bump into your chain and whatnot. All right, so what we're going to do is hold the uh, jack up. I'm just going to put it like this. And we're going to put a bolt through. And on the other side, very simple, feed it through like that and then put your washer and your nut. We can get her on. There 
There we go. And then we're going to do the same for the back one. And then we're going to do the uh, two bottom ones next. So this is just taking a look at the uh, back of the mounting. So this is where you got to determine how far back you want your jack when it's in the uh, storage position. You don't want to have it too far towards the back of the trailer where this is going to interfere with this when it's down. As you can see, I probably have about a quarter of an inch and I'll usually probably store it like that. And then I have enough room at the front here. There's about half an inch here. Again, I wouldn't want to go any more forward and again towards the back. So what I'm going to do is uh, tighten these up. Again, there's a white lithium grease where metal is on metal. Just over time, it will uh, wear through a little bit and start rusting, even though this is galvanized. All right, let's get this all tightened up. Again, it's a three-quarter inch. All right, so it's all tightened up. So let's uh, make sure everything's still where we want it to be. So just pull out on the handle here. Releases your jack so you can swivel it. Perfect, so we got enough room here and enough room on the front. Let's razor off the uh, front jack stand there. I'm gonna turn it clockwise to erase it. Clockwise. So let's just taking a closer look at the uh, jack. One thing I do like about this, it has 11 and a half inches of lift, so it's nice if you want to tilt your trailer up, which is the way I'll store it. That way, it keeps the water out if it's stored outside. Again, I'm not affiliated with. Uh, this company, Max Hall, I just uh, found them on Amazon, looked to be a quality product. And again, I wanted the uh, dual wheels and the uh, 1500 pound uh, capacity for uh, lifting. Again, just over time, having it a little heavier duty, mechanisms, mechanisms inside should last a little longer. And it is a galvanized finish like the uh, trailer. But again, just how it's metal on metal, that's why I put the uh, white lithium grease in between the brackets just protects it and i'm going to decide over time if i want to actually trim these off i don't like how they stick out so far just looks like you're going to bump something into it so i'll probably end up uh, chopping them off leaving maybe half an inch or so There you go. That's how you install a uh, swing back trailer jack on a utility trailer. Again, I purchased this one off Amazon. So the next video is actually doing a uh, 
little uh, review on my new uh, Sterling uh, 5x10 trailer. If you want to make sure you uh, subscribe and hit that bell notification button so you'll get notified when the uh, new video comes out. Again, thanks for watching. Hope this helps uh, some people out there. Again, anybody can do this with some very basic uh, socket set or even two adjustable wrenches. So if you have any questions or comments, make sure you post them below. If not, thanks for watching.